far as this team goes, talk a little bit about uh, what you guys learned last season. What are some of the things that you can apply this season in you know a second year under your head coach? Um, well, last year obviously was not what uh, not the outcome we always wanted, um, but we learned all of us a lot, and we have a lot of returning players, and um, we all gained valuable lessons and uh, just valuable experience. And we've been working in the off season. Um, Putting, putting in work so uh, so this year uh, hopefully we'll be better. Who are some of the guys that are going to be playing big roles for Concordia? Um, I think all of us, all of us will, will contribute. Um, obviously there will be uh, leaders and I think uh, the upperclassmen um, will do a better, do a good job of that uh, this year. You guys uh, had Nick in the post last year. Um, so do you see this team being a little more perimeter based this year? And if so, how does that play into the skill sets that you guys have? Um, I think we have a lot of uh, good good players this year. Um, we have a sophomore, uh, Clevis. Uh, he, he'll, he'll be a good addition this year. Um, we have a good perimeter players. Um, that we'll, 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 we'll be able to send in the post, uh, play perimeter, play shooting. We'll, we'll run. We'll be we'll be fine. The final question: What is what do you think the identity of this Concordia team will be? Um, I think uh, coach has been telling us last uh, last few months that if as long as we give max effort 100% of the time, good things will happen, and I think that's what we'll we'll be doing this year, and hopefully it turns out. Uh, just to be competitors this year. What will it make you do that? So how will you uh, accomplish that? Uh, with intensity and uh, playing smart. How's the offseason going for you guys? Great. It's going great. We have been working hard and been in gym rats, really. What are you stressing? Uh, we stress in size, but we uh, can make up for that for, with uh, our speed. What are, the, what are the strengths? Size and speed? Uh, we have a lot of smart play. Uh, we we can take our time to set up and um, yeah. Uh, obviously, the SAC stuff. You got Didier out there. I mean, how much do you relish playing against guys like that? I love it. I uh, love the competition. I, I like to say that I can be able to guard him, and you know, it's, I want to lock him up. Yeah. How does it help you guys as a team, maybe beyond just the regular season? It helps us just to be ultimately great and uh, become closer with each other. My man. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, as far as this Concordia team goes, what do you take, uh, what do you base off last year? What do you learn from last year that you guys can apply now this time around as you enter your second season leaving this program? Yeah, I mean, I think originally or right away you look at our, our record as 3-19 and 19, and I think there might be some natural disappointment, but, uh, you know, we've just done a really good job, I think, this offseason focusing on the positives and the fact that Last year, the SAC and conference overall area was loaded uh, with talent. And we had some younger guys that had to kind of get thrown into the fire and uh, kind of grow up quickly. And so I'm, I'm really excited about some uh, some guys that we have coming back that are, are hopefully uh, you know learning from some valuable experience from last year. How do you see the complexion of your team changing? I mean, Nick Webb was a big guy in the post, a uh, quality post player. But you, you seem to have some perimeter skills coming back. You see your team going a little more perimeter-based, and if so, who are some of the guys looking to step into larger roles? Yeah, so we have uh, three returning starting guards that averaged over 22 minutes a game last year. Adam Gottschalk, uh, very versatile def uh, offense and, and defense, um, can, can really shoot the basketball, and with his length can really guard some different positions for us. All SAC honorable mentioned last year. Jaden Dance, we moved to the point guard position about five games into the season, and that was a learning curve for him uh, last year. So we're excited about uh, what he brings to the table. And then Braden Pearson, another guard who started on JV 10 games into the season, moved up to varsity and realized we couldn't take them off the floor. And so we do, uh, we're do. we really excited about some of the guards are returning. And in terms of how we're going to play, uh, we did this summer have to make some changes to trying to score more than 40 points a game in order to be successful. And so we're really excited about what we're doing. And you, you hear in the NBA a lot about positionless basketball right now. And um, outside of the point guard position, I think we have a lot of people that can really move around the floor. And we're going to have to have some younger uh, post players step up this year. How much are you looking forward to kind of getting your second year in this program, knowing that you've kind of been there, done that for a season, have a little familiarity with these guys, and, you know, as a Concordia grad, I imagine you want to build this team into a constant winner. Yeah, there's nothing more than, you know, myself and a couple of my staff members who also uh, played in the in the Concordia basketball program. Uh, we understand the pride and tradition and history at Concordia. There's nothing more than we want to 
that we want to do then uh, to put together a product that teams want to uh, appreciate watching and support. And we're working every day to get these guys to come into practice with a chip on your shoulder, compete at a high level. And when your number's called, give max effort. Um, so we're, we're really looking forward to this season.